What's going on, guys? Uh, looks like we have a new asset that has joined DeFi. Uh, it's actually been around since uh, it was launched in uh, December 2018, uh, but has grown quite a bit throughout 2019. And that um, asset class is synthetics, which uh, I just did some research into, and it looks um, pretty cool what it's able to do and the purpose behind it. It looks like it was a project that was originally designed to be a stable coin, but what they found is that the tool actually can be used for much more than just that. Um, so as you can see, um, the, it was uh, launched in early 2000 or late 2018 and has grown pretty well. Um, obviously the market as of late has been doing uh, a lot of good things, which has helped all of the coins that are currently in crypto. Uh, but uh, let me go ahead and read this. This is actually written by the team behind Synthetics, which kind of goes into depth about what the tool is for and um, how it'll be used in the future. And in my opinion, this does look like it's going to have a really strong use case in the future. The Synthetics platform enables the creation of on-chain synthetic assets, aka synths, that track the value of assets in the real world. Some examples of assets that the platform supports are synthetic fiat currencies, uh, such uh, as SUSD, SAUD, SKRW, etc. Synthetic commodities such as gold, as well as more complex assets such as equity indices. This overview will explain how the system enables the creation of these assets, as well as some of the considerations in its, in its design. What is a synthetic asset? Synthetic assets allow you to receive the benefit of holding an asset without actually holding it. Before going any further, many people would want to stop would want to stop you here and ask why. Why would you want to hold a synthetic asset instead of just holding the asset itself? There are many answers to this question, but the fundamental reason people hold synthetic assets is that they receive some benefit over simply holding the underlying asset. The benefit could be access, such as in the case of gold, where someone wants exposure to gold without having to deal with the custody. It could be liquidity, where someone wants to be able to easily enter and exit a position that would be difficult to do so with the underlying asset. But in our case, the answer is very simple. People will want to hold on-chain synthetic assets because they get the benefit of holding the underlying asset, plus all the advantages of a decentralized platform such as some of the other things above that they mentioned, like liquidity and not having to deal with the underlying asset. What are the benefits of synths? The first use case for synths was stable coins, the ability to hold a token that tracked the value of a fiat currency without needing to hold the fiat currency. The benefit to holders of these tokens is being able to transfer value in an agreed upon and widely accepted denomination without needing to rely on a third party to hold collateral. This will be hugely beneficial once we have wide scale decentralized marketplaces as new users will feel much more comfortable converting fiat into a crypto asset denominated in their local fiat currency and then using that to purchase goods and services on decentralized platforms. Uh, and I can see that definitely um, it is difficult right now to convert um, specific uh it is difficult to move into specific stable coins. Um, most stable coins right now are tied to the US dollar. So, and as you'll see, as I go to the synth, uh, synthetic site, they have stable coins for pretty much every currency. So how are synths traded? The benefit of using a shared collateral pool is that synths can be converted between different flavors without a counterparty. The pool of collateral holders essentially acts as the counterparty. Some, so someone holding SUSD can convert that synth into SAUD at the current exchange rate without needing to find someone who is holding SAUD to trade with. This combined with our synthetics exchange platform will allow users to quickly swap between different commodities and fiat currencies paying only for gas and the synthetics network fee. How does synthetics work? The platform uses a token called SNX, the Synthetics to Network Token, and holding this token allows you to create synths. You do this by locking SNX into a smart contract and minting synths against this value. In order to ensure that synths are fully backed, the system will only uh, 
will only you to issue a fraction of the SNX value you lock. The system currently requires that you lock five times more value into the contract than the since you mint. Uh, where, do, where does SNX derive its value? The SNX token is the core of the synthetic, synthetics network. It is what allows people to participate in minting synths and provides the collateral to back them. As mentioned earlier, the, a decentralized system of synthetic assets will have a huge benefit to, for users. Users will be willing to pay for this utility in the form of transaction fees when they transfer synths. These fees are paid to SNX holders who have minted synths and maintain a healthy collateralization ratio. This feedback loop allows the value of the SNX token to grow as the network gains adoption, allowing more synths to be minted and increasing the adoption even further. And what they described here is pretty much the network effect. So as the network gets bigger, there's more liquidity, which allows more tokens to be minted, which brings more liquidity. And there's a, kind of a tipping point there. Uh, what is the role of the SNX holder? SNX holders act as both issuers of synths as well as maintainers of the system. They hold a pool of collateral value in the form of SNX tokens that underpins the network. They are rewarded for performing this role with a portion of the fees generated by the network. This is an active role and requires awareness of the state of the system and willingness to respond as required when the system is out of equilibrium. SNX holders who actively maintain the collateralization state are rewarded with a higher uh, proportion of fees than other SNX holders. Uh, that's good. They're rewarding people that are uh, acting in good faith. Um, how does it track? Uh, how does the system track the position of each SNX holder? As described above, since can be swapped without needing a counterparty. This obviously, this is obviously extremely useful for the holder of the, the synth, but it can create some additional risks for both SNX holders and the system. Consider a scenario in which Alice mints SUSD and the trades and then trades it to Bob in exchange for ETH. If Bob receives the SUSD and later decides to convert it to SAUD, the total debt in the system has not changed. But if the exchange rate shifts and Alice tries to buy back the SAUD to convert it into SUSD, she will not have enough ETH to purchase it all back. Plus, the system would still think she owed the original amount of SUSD that she minted, even though the exchange rate has shifted since then. This is why we track the position of the entire system through the debt register, register rather than each individual SNX holder. The debt register is what allows the system to track the total outstanding value of synths that, the, that have been minted by SNX holders. As exchange rates between these different synths are cha since change, the total debt changes in the system. The way we handle this is we track the total debt and the percentage of debt for each SNX holder when they mint or burn. Uh, then it goes down into what happens basically. I don't need to go through this whole thing with you guys. Um, but I did wanna show you the site and kind of show you how the, the SNX token is doing. I actually think it's performing pretty well. Um, so this is their site. Um, you can see that they currently have um, USD, Euro, Japanese Yen, Australian Dollar, Korean Won, British, uh, British Pound, Chinese Yen, uh, Won, let's see, uh, Ruble. Yeah, they got a whole bunch here. So they, they have quite a few fiat um, stable coins as well as um, Bitcoin, ETH, uh, even have BNB, uh, which are basically wrapped, almost like a wrapped Bitcoin, but they're they're using the synth system instead. And then in the, they do have uh, gold, silver, and they even have uh, commodities like stocks. They have Apple shown here. So synths are tokens that provide exposure to assets such as gold, Bitcoin, US dollars, Tesla, and Apple within the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, over 20 different th synths are available without liquidity limitations. Trades are executed quickly and easily, all without an order book. So it's using a DEX of some sort. A distributed pool of token holders are responsible for providing collateral and maintaining uh, stability. So this is kind of a mixture of, it, it kind of is like Uniswap in the way that do, they're doing liquidity. Um, and they're also tracking things with a debt register, which is a little bit different. Um, but this is definitely kind of um, veering into the area of tokenizing the world. So th this is 
that this is something that could be used to tokenize pretty much any asset and put it on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and that is why this is part of DeFi is um, the more liquidity we can pull out of different areas of, uh, of finance, then um, the more decentralized uh, this stuff can become. Uh, it's very cool that you can take an, a legacy financial asset, um, basically digitize it, tokenize it with uh, with this platform, with, uh, with Synth, and um, take that asset and then trade it move it around like like it's a normal liquid asset and then when you're done you can um expose of it so um at least pull it off of the blockchain so this is um this is very cool um i just wanted to bring it up um as far as the price goes you can see here this is from live coin watch uh it is um december 9 2018 was when it was launched at least that's the tracking on here i believe it's correct and um I don't know, since about the spring, it's had nothing but a uptrend. So volume has also picked up quite a bit. Uh, currently, right now, it has a market cap of 8,555,000. Um, and at least uh, versus fiat, it's done pretty well. Um, versus Bitcoin, the last seven days, it's up 25%. Um, versus ETH, it's... Um, it's in the green, so it's, it's doing pretty well. Um, these are the type of platforms I believe will do very, very well, um, especially as DeFi picks up pace and uh, becomes more and more mainstream. Uh, there's been a lot of news about DeFi lately. Um, specifically, it was brought up during uh, consensus uh, quite a bit, um, also brought up during the Ethereal Summit. Um, there's a lot of focus on DeFi, a lot of interest in DeFi. There's a lot of other blockchains outside of Ethereum that are talking about DeFi. And uh, projects like this are just going to add on to it. So um, please like, subscribe, uh, share the video. Uh, a link to the Synthetics website will be in the description, along with the article that I read from um, the Synthetics team uh, from Medium. That will also be in the description. Uh, that's all I got. Thanks. Have a good one.